I told her to stay home. She didn't want to listen. I'll chat. I don't know what you want me to do. I know she's a grown woman, but she she's bruh. Don't don't argue with me, please. Oh no. Dude, she's peeing in the road. Oh no. Oh, she, she has autism. That's my sister. I'm so, she, she's autistic. She's autistic. I told her don't. I don't know what to do. Do I call? Do I call my mom? Uh, what I have to say is, is certainly worth uh, taking my mask off, and I would ask if anyone agrees with what I say, if you could please donate a minute, because I have a little bit longer, just two minutes would be appreciated. If not, I understand. My name is Dan Roll. Does anyone wish to donate a minute? Could you? No? Okay. Anyways, my name is Dan Roll, and I am here today. In 2020, we need, great, uh, we need good news, and I was not expecting the excellent news that Michelle Fiore was stepping down as mayor pro tem in the city of Las Vegas. It is welcome good news, but this is not the first time. Let's not forget that in 2015, Michelle Fiore called her black assemblyman colleague a colored person and then told us all to get over matters of race and color because we had a black president. Michelle Fiore loves to associate with Clive and Bundy a alleged domestic terrorist. And let's not forget that Clive and Bundy said that black people were better off as slaves because at least they knew how to pick cotton. And you, Madam Mayor, chose that woman to be your mayor pro tem. This is the same woman whose business was shut down by the state of Nevada and told us that cancer was a fungus that could be cleared with baking soda. It is not ironic to me that Michelle Fiore wraps herself in the thin blue line, claims to be pro-law enforcement, but conveniently forgets the fact that she was expelled and condemned by law enforcement in 2016 for saying sorry next no 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 you, not no uh, no i'm sorry no it's ahead of time wait all right wait one second we have to get your name ma'am excuse me My name is Annette Walker. No, you didn't get it up front because they didn't know you. It was when you were going on into your comments. No, no, we're just following the same person. Annette Walker? You know? Yes, ma'am. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless. Okay. This is the same your Michelle card, Fiore who in the middle of a budgetary card, crisis. Give your name so he can get your minute. That's two minutes. Just handle it. She's walking out. That's awesome. <laughs> Teresa Brooks. No, 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 no. Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> it looks like the perfect presidential ad. American flags. A candidate with a compelling story and a family that looks great in pastels. We're fighting for the world that will be our kids' world. And <coughs> start looking at me and the, <laughs> he had a dream <coughs> and uh, Sorry. <coughs> he enjoyed the most <coughs> Excuse me. One <coughs> working at MIT <coughs> give me a couple lines from Green Eggs and Ham That's too personal, Ted. I don't want to tell that. I do like it. I'll like it in a box. I'll like it in a goat. I'll like it. Well, I want to tell that, and you're the best person to tell that. Well, there's some very personal details that I don't want to go into. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm Sam. I am. I am. I'm Sam. You don't have to go into it. Okay. Me. When Ted was three. Look at me. Well, I need the book if you want to give me specific lines, but...
Not a day goes by that my mom is not lifting me up in prayer. That's right. For hours at a time. Our family has actually like made a difference and an impact in our um, country today. Am I supposed to say like the same type? My family background is that my grandfather was a missionary in Africa for about 40 years. I don't know what else to say. I don't know, just keep talking. <laughs> Just keep talking. Oh, Presently, my brother is uh, a missionary in Haiti. Cut, let's start that again. But the brother thinks too much. I can't get his gig down. He doesn't live there. It seems like everything is staged, even hugs. Hugs. And I love proud you. of you, Joey. I love you. I love you, too. I love you, Ted. I love you, Mom. I love you, too, dear. I love you. I love you. One more hug and we're out. It will oh, in a political commercial, the scene would look something like this. But it takes a lot of time to get that perfect shot. Getting the shot of family mealtime took a lot of prayer. Okay, so who wants to say grace? Me, I do. Okay, great. Okay, awesome. Would you like to hold hands with Sissy as well? Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's just... good. Okay. Okay. Okay, Catherine. Amen. Okay, who wants to say grace? I do. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Dear Jesus, thank you for the food, thank you for the day, thank you for my family, thank you for my friends, thank you for my puppy, amen. Amen. Okay, let's say grace. Father, thank you for this day, thank you for this food, and thank you for our precious girls. Thank you for Catherine and Caroline. Bless this family, and thank you for those who prepared this meal. In Jesus' name, amen. What did you do at school? Um, well... Today, Miss Mayhew gave us candy. Candy at school? And for the ending, Cruz really wanted to get it right. I'm Ted Cruz, and I approve this message. I'm Ted Cruz, and I approve this message. I'm Ted Cruz, and I approve this message. I'm Ted Cruz, and, and we, we approve, approve this, this message. message. Okay, a little bit faster, though. That was good. I'm Ted Cruz, and, and we, we approve, approve this, this message. message. I'm Ted Cruz, and we, and we approve, approve this, this message. message. I'm Ted Cruz, and we approve this 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 message. I'm Ted Cruz, and I approve this message. Hola, do you speak English? No. No, okay. I was over there. I was sitting. Because I can't take do that. Okay. Bang. Bye. Bang, bang. What? Oh, okay. Hola. Como estas? Um, I was. Here. Wait, 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 wait. Come here. Come here. Um, esto es muy raro. Pero a te vi aquí. Creo que tú es absolutamente uh, agradable. Uh, muy linda. I just want to say hi. Hi. Matt. Um, yo, can, yo tengo que ir. Uh, pero dime algo. Uh, ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Deji. Deji? Ok. Mucho gusto, Deji. Uh, creo que ir. Pero dime algo interesante sobre ti. One thing. Tell me. Uh, fitness. Your fitness. Okay. 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 What? Tienes WhatsApp? No. No WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, Tienes Instagram? No, no, pero no. Chano. Tienes novio? Sí. Ah, okay. All right. Mucho gusto. All right. Nice to meet you. All right. Bye. Sorry. Wow. Wow. 您觉得他应该连任几届比较合适？那么您觉得就是有没有有效的机制来监督和约束这个权利呢？包括就是习主席的权利。是这个很清晰。您作为代表，您有投票权，那么您觉得习近平主席连任几届比较合适呢？ 您觉得中国的国情是适合终身制的吗？ 能不能谈一谈啊？为什么回避这个问题？谢谢。
呃，那个太多了吗？您好，您的得票率是百分之多少呢？ A spontaneous enough for you, Nicola. Is that right? Well, you do like... yeah, I do. I'm the kind of person who likes surprises, but you Paul do. likes his life to be a bit more ordered and, you know, definitely yes. Yeah. So I can't it's imagine anything Paul would hate more than a surprise. Yeah. yeah. Well, Nicola, I have to say I've got more than a big surprise for you, because <laughs> I know I know what you're at, and it's it's. I feel awfully deeply saddened by this, but you don't work as a temporary secretary. I know for a fact that you actually, you're an undercover journalist and you've robbed somebody of coming on a proper blind date. You work for Cosmopolitan magazine. She's a journalist, ladies and gentlemen, not a blind date at all. Is that right? Yes. Is that right? Are you, are you being serious, Silla? I am being serious, yes. Is she a journalist? She's a very good one too. She's senior features writer Nicola Gill of Cosmopolitan <laughs> magazine. <laughs> oh, Nicola, how could you? Actually, I'm quite looking forward to it. I'd love to be in Cosmopolitan magazine. I'm sorry. <laughs> it begs the question: Why? <laughs> oh, outrageous! I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> tell us, I mean, really, there was no way you were going to fall in love with him. Tell us the truth. Have you got a boyfriend? No. You haven't? Any children? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just asking. I mean, did you purely come on blind date? You obviously did, just to get the story. Yeah, it's been a fantastic time as well. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, what, what the other thing that kind of upsets me as well, because when we had the problem, because this is a show and a half, ladies and gentlemen, what with, you know, poor David's date standing him up, and, and he was prepared to go to Sky, and we did offer you to go to Nepal, which, thank goodness, you know, you didn't take up, because you got all the injections, and we actually gave you, we gave you the tickets to go to Nepal at your own leisure anyway. Are you going to give your ticket back, Nicola? I, want, I would like Paul to go with someone else. I think he's a genuinely nice guy, yeah. And I would like him to have the opportunity to go with someone else. All right, well, that's no, good. I would, that's I good. would, I would. Okay. And I would have t told him that as well. Don't you feel a little bit, the least bit guilty? I mean, there's lots of, I'm sure there's lots of girls in our audience tonight, and certainly millions of girls watching at home, who would have given their right arm to be sitting on the You've cheated one of those lovely girls out of a proper blind date. How does that make you feel? <laughs> the look says I, it all. I can't, well, what can I say? I'm sorry if that's the case. And I feel sorry because I, I would like Paul to go to Nepal. He's a really nice guy. Well, he's going anyway because he's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I say? I, well, I hope you write a nice article. Well, I've had a fabulous time and thank you, blind date. And that's all I want to say. <laughs> Will, this is Intel. Intel, this is Will. Everybody. I'm excited because, you know, I'm, I'm in the studio all the time making music, uh, traveling the world, playing music on my computer, talking about music. And, you know, I'm, when I go and buy new equipment, I go and I look to see if that chip is in there. I, I, I waited in line for that new core. It's pretty awesome. Because you've never, you know, other than Mac, it's exciting to, to come up with new tools from the creator's perspective and have that connection one to many that hasn't been done from, you know, the viewpoint of the artist. Um, because all, you know, when you're on a computer, that thing is all big and you never really get to hold the part that you're actually <laughs> collaborating with. I spend hours upon hours, you know, ideas, talking with the computer, you know. You take this, ba this puppy out of the computer, it ain't just this little box, it ain't doing nothing. <laughs> it's like my, it's my brain's friend. It's like, hey, this <laughs> have you ever met him? <laughs> and they're like, is it finished yet? No, no, man. You knew uh, what the kids are gonna like, what they're gonna flip on, like, are they gonna like this track? Are they gonna like this, you know, am I going too far with taking like text conversations like OMG? Should I make a song called OMG? I don't even remember. Imagine 
um, shoemaker, the, the, the car driver, when he drives around that track, you know he represents Mercedes. And that Mercedes is going super duper fast and he wins races. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm around it, I go around the track. It's called the internet. <laughs> That's right? right. But people don't know I'm driving this. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I'm rocking with Andy. <laughs> 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 One up, two. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>